So one of the most important, most progressive voices in Congress was recently asked about Joe Biden. I'm talking about Ilhan Omar. And she said what was obvious to everyone. But I want to play what she said because it's really important for lawmakers, especially progressive ones, to make it very clear that Joe Biden is not your friend. This is not debatable. If you are a progressive and you want to see the country advance in a substantial way, then you don't opt for someone like Joe Biden. He's just going to warm the seat in the White House and the Oval Office for another four to eight years. And then we're going to get someone who's probably worse than Donald Trump to follow. Because these types of establishment status quo Democrats, all they do is sit idly by and make incremental tweaks to the system that is making citizens desperate. And we need someone who's going to come in with broad structural reform. So to have a member of Congress say that that's not Joe Biden, it's important. So here's what she had to say. I want to ask you about one of the candidates who's not here today, which is the front runner, Joe Biden. The organizers here are disappointed that he didn't respond to their questionnaire. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that he's basically running on a 2015 platform. Do you think that he can fit the brand of politics that you stand for as well if he was the nominee? There are a few people who fit into the, um, uh, the, 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 the kind of progress um, that we all want to see uh, in, in this country. Um, and I would say he is not one of them. Um, I think it's been uh, very clear uh, to many of the people who have been um, creating the kind of movement that is exciting generations um, that we want somebody who really has a, 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 um, a plan um, that is going to tackle a lot of the systematic challenges that we have, um, and he does. That's exactly it. Everything she said there is 100% on point. He's not exciting younger generations. Um, he's not going to change the system. He's literally campaigning on incrementalism. So, I mean, he's not going to excite anyone, and if you're not going to excite the base then in a general election, that's bad news. I'm not saying that Joe Biden, you know, it's a foregone conclusion. He was he would absolutely lose against Donald Trump. But I'm not willing to roll the dice when the climate is at stake, when the Supreme Court is at stake. So Democrats are playing with fire if they truly think that Joe Biden is the best bet against Donald Trump. And I really want more progressive lawmakers like Ilhan Omar, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Ayanna Pressley, uh, Pramila Jayapal, Ro Khanna, to come out and say this, to say what's obvious to everyone else, that Joe Biden is bad news for the party and for the country. Let's keep it real. But you see, the thing is that Joe Biden benefits from a Democratic Party who has become increasingly tribalistic. They absolutely refuse to allow any constructive criticism whatsoever. So in the event Ilhan Omar and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez start speaking up a little bit more loudly against Joe Biden, then we already can envision the political articles where 10 different Democratic Party strategists and anonymous lawmakers go on record shaming them and saying that they're being overly divisive and that they're only helping Donald Trump. Because apparently during a primary, you're not allowed to criticize other Democrats, even if they're Democrats in name only. They could campaign as Republicans with that D next to their name, but so long as that D is next to their name, it acts as a type of shield that, you know, is supposed to deflect any and all criticism. And if you criticize them, you're doing Donald Trump's bidding. No, Joe Biden is doing Donald Trump's bidding. Do you understand this? If we don't get a candidate that is a big structural reform change candidate, who's a progressive, who can excite the base, Donald Trump gets another four years. It's as simple as that. We tried running a moderate Democrat in 2016, and that didn't work out. Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump. The fact that we are even having this conversation, the fact that people are still thinking that we need a moderate to win back these purple states, it's absurd to me. You never ever see Republicans trying to pander to moderate Democrats and try to win over centrist Democrats and be more moderate in purple states. That's almost unfathomable. It's only Democrats who try to trot out this line of attack, and it's because they really are a centrist party. Democrats are centrist. And there's a select few voices who are finally pushing the party to the left in a positive direction. But um, 
It's just not enough and it's not happening fast enough. But what I do know is that realignment can possibly happen in the event they nominate someone who's actually progressive. And Bernie Sanders has already had a tremendous amount of influence on the Democratic Party positively. And he didn't even win the nomination in 2016. I mean, everyone has stolen his platform in 2016, with the exception, of course, of a few centrists. So imagine the impact that Bernie Sanders can have. Imagine how much further he'd pull the Overton window to the left if he's the nominee. So this is why I really want people in Congress to be more vocal about Joe Biden and the threat that he poses to the party and the country. And I want them to not worry about the attacks from Democrats because understand this. The reason why centrist Democrats attack you for criticizing Joe Biden in a constructive way is because they take that personally because there's a lot of centrists in the Democratic Party. So when you criticize Joe Biden, they take that as an insult on them, but they should be insulted. If you're not going to be progressive in a left-wing party uh, or in what should be a left-wing party, then uh, you need to leave. We need to not coddle these people. We need to not try to, you know, talk about how this is a Big Ten party and you're also welcome here. No, we need to make it clear we're taking over the Democratic Party, okay? We are taking it over and you are not welcome in this party if you are a centrist. If you're not a left-winger, get the fuck out, flee to Republicans, or form, you know, your own third party. We don't want you here. That's what's got to happen, because at this point in time, we don't have time for another incrementalist candidate. We just don't. And it's also, electorally speaking, a flawed and failed strategy. So kudos to Ilhan Omar for speaking out. I would like to see more of this, because this is what we need right now. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.